Well, you can't help but say, oh, when you see these critters. We've got ducklings in the CI studios today, and they're going to remind us that spring and Easter, they're coming. Yeah, here with more on today's Critters Uncaged. We have Kelly Rockwell for the University of Illinois Wildlife Medical Clinic joining us. Hi, Kelly. Hi, guys. Okay, the, so these little ducklings are adorable, but they're a little bit bigger than I was anticipating. Yes, um, I guess when people say ducklings, you expect something cute to fit in this size. Something that's tall yeah. size. These guys are actually still only a couple months old so they're still pretty young um, but as you can see they they grow pretty fra pretty fast yeah. from the little guys that you can hold in the palm of your hand and they're how old um, these guys are about two to three months we're guessing wow. so why did they come into your care so they were dropped off by someone we're not sure who that could no longer <laughs> care for them um, as you can see, they're they're yellow, so they're not your typical brown wild duck. They are a domestic species, and since they are domestic, we weren't able to care for them. Um, but fortunately, a staff member was able to give them a home on her property where they're now living out in in the nice safety of her home. Sure. Okay, so most people I would think during Easter think, oh, a baby chick or a baby bunny would be mm -hmm. such a great Easter basket gift, but. Probably yeah. not a good idea. For Absolutely. Them. While they're very cute at first and you can hold them in the palm of your hand, they obviously grow very quickly. People don't expect that and they don't realize that they're actual pets that have a lot of nutritional and husbandry needs. And once they're no longer cute and cuddly, you know, sometimes they don't want to take care of them like they would a, a cat or a dog. And unfortunately, that's one of the problems that people, they impulse buy these cute little animals. And then when they get you know, just even this this size, they no longer want to take care of them. And so, <laughs> whoa, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Have you named them? Um, they have not been named. Um, I'm just told they're duck one and duck two. Okay. <laughs> Get Matt and Heather. Oh. Yeah. Heather now. <laughs> How do you know which one's a boy and a girl? Um, we don't. Unfortunately, with birds, you can't really tell. So we, we just kind of say, call them whatever we want to. They know. <laughs> Go with it. Yeah. So how do you care for a duck? What, what do you need to have? So with domestic ducks, um, nutrition is really important. You know, a lot of people think they can just throw bread at them or <laughs> something like that when they see wild ducks. But unfortunately, that doesn't have a lot of the nutrition that they need. And they can have yeah. a lot of growth abnormalities if you don't feed them you know, the proper grain and, and greens that they need. So they certainly need proper diet. They need a lot of space to roam around. They can be pretty messy. You know, they kind of just use the bathroom wherever they want. Right. They, they certainly need water to swim in so they can preen themselves and keep nice feathers. And they, they need a lot of space. You know, they're pretty active, as you guys can see. They want to move around, so sure. they yeah. need a lot of space to kind of get all that energy out. Yeah. And they also like being together. You know, when we separate these guys, they kind of freak out. And they like having a buddy to stick around with. So Aww. sometimes if you just have one, it might not be the best for them. Well, yeah, they got to have the BFF <laughs> for yeah. some camaraderie. Yeah, well, and what, and what do you feed ducks? I mean, the actual thing, I mean, does it have to be a balance of vegetables? <laughs> Obviously not bread. I mean, you wouldn't, feed your, you wouldn't feed your small child only bread either, and so you wouldn't feed ducks. Though. Yeah, they actually, they make duck chows for them. That you can find Ooh. at a lot of, like, farm and fleet stores, um, you know, different brands actually sell a poultry diet for them. And so you can give them, it's a grain-based one that has the, enough protein and calories that they need and then they also really love lettuce so you can give them lettuce as well um, huh. and that tends to to provide the nutrition that they need I feel like it would be a really bad idea to give a chick for Easter then just set it out to go okay yeah. you know how to survive yeah. now we're, we're not gonna keep you in the cage yeah. we're not gonna feed you anymore now go forth unfortunately that is the problem where people you know no longer want to care for them and they think they're like oh well it's a duck I could just set it free right. and it'll be okay but you know they've been bred so that those wild instincts aren't in them anymore and they wouldn't know what to do how to ward off predators and sometimes uh -huh. they get a little too conditioned and they can't fly as well as their wild you know cousins so right. setting them into the wild is unfortunately not a good thing to do if you feel like you can no longer take care of them and and we certainly don't recommend it and unfortunately there's not a lot of places that want pets like this so finding a home for them can be difficult if you want to relinquish them so that's why it's really important to think whether or not you want this animal yeah. because these guys can live for about 10 to 20 years so, wow, so no it's kidding. an investment yeah, yeah if you want to keep one what about bunnies I mean th I think that's the temptation around yeah. Easter time too yeah Bunnies, bunnies are certainly very cute and, you know, they're epitome yeah. of Easter. <laughs> and you can get small ones that do stay a little bit smaller than your normal ones, but even those ones get bigger and 
they require a lot of room to run around as well and you know just like domestic animals you can't you can't set those free either if you feel like you no longer want to take care of them yeah they, they make wonderful pets but you need to be prepared for you know what comes along with something taking care to of think them. about yeah absolutely. think before you buy absolutely all right well kelly and matt and heather you <laughs> all heather. have a happy easter <laughs> Thank um, you. Some great reminders not to make those impulse buys when it comes to um, your little furry critter friends around Easter uh, time. So for more Heather on... Heather says the same thing. Yes. For more on animal safety, you can visit the website right there, vetmed.illinois.edu slash WMC for Wildlife Medical Clinic. Thanks, Kelly, so much.